when you're heading an organization like you do, um, how, how do you deal with that that kind of criticism? That kind of criticism that I don't that I don't reflect ex-Muslims, yeah, the ex-Muslim you experience. You can only represent yourself. You can't represent. Yeah, everyone. I mean, for, for the the first thing is well, how to know? You know, how to know? And uh, I would say that. You know, next to Muhammad Sayyid, um, I probably know more ex-Muslims, like literal numbers wise. And I've heard more stories than possibly anyone um, just because of the size of XMA and all the people that we've screened and all the people that we've that we've um, worked with throughout the years. Um, but it's still hard to gauge truly what the experience is of your every everyday ex-Muslim. So there is... Um, the ex-Muslim that joins XMNA, that's a certain kind of person. And they have a certain kind of experience. That might look different than the standard ex-Muslim. They don't join XMNA. They just exist in, you know, the Western world somehow. So they could, it could be that they're so liberal, their families are so liberal, they don't feel the need to join. It could also be the other way, where their families are so conservative, they would never dream of even looking up, typing up ex-Muslim onto <laughs> their, you know, phone. Right. And, right? So there's a lot of reasons why we might not represent... Right. Um, the the standard ex-Muslim experience. So, so, I mean, not to get too deeply academic about it, but you can go and think of a thousand different reasons why why you might be you might feel hesitant to say that you represent anyone's experience. And unless we have a perfect poll that's spanning all throughout the Muslim world, there's no way to know. But I can safely say, I think, from what I do know, that I am I I have had a relatively easy time of it compared to other ex-Muslims yeah. that I've worked Same with, here. you know. And Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries advocating for atheists, secularists, and enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash SJME.